Miss Nightstone, thank you for coming. I'm Richard Aldama, the owner of this hotel. It means a lot to me that you were able to attend our launch party. I'm a big fan of your books, though I must say your ghost stories are a bit over the top. Maybe you could write about the hotel instead. Give it some of your literary flair? Well, I must attend to the press, but please do me a favor. Try not to scare the guests with your stories. We have no ghosts here. I'm sorry, Mr. Aldama, but if only you could see what I see, you'd know nothing could be further from the truth. I suddenly felt very weak, like the room was fading away. What's happening to me? Partied a bit too hard, did you, Miss Nightstone? You were knocked out for a while there. What is it that the ghost wanted me to see? Is that an image of a dagger? Oh no, I hear footsteps coming my way. I need to hide, quickly, before... The local police station might have the answers to my question, but most importantly, I do hope nobody thinks to look in this dumbwaiter. I emerged from the dumbwaiter when the coast was clear, then off to find out what Aldama was hiding. So Joel Aldama bribed the police to take the dagger back to his estate. But why? There was only one way to find out. Luckily for me, Pedro was eager to show me around the estate. The manor was just beyond the vineyards. Could the answer to the mystery be there? Suddenly, a familiar face. It was Richard Aldama. He had spotted Pedro. Poor Pedro. I couldn't believe Richard locked him up. I had to get him out. That pizza delivery service was fast, but I had to move even faster. Once more, I was warned by some heavy footsteps. Except this time, there was more than one person. Had Richard brought the police? I had finally gathered enough clues. To now head to the scene of the crime. In her journal, Gabriella left clues about her real murderer.
and I promised Gabriela Montez that I wouldn't disappoint her. This handkerchief might have belonged to the murderer. Could it possibly still be here? The truth had finally set them free. Free from pain, free from judgment. Two souls that had found forgiveness. Two souls now at peace. Now free to love each other again. Carlos Montez asked for my help in searching for a lost will he had seen as a young boy, a will concerning the return of the vineyards to the Montez family. However, when Joel passed away, his final will had no mention of the return of the land. Carlos believed that the original will of Joel still resided somewhere inside the Aldama mansion. Who are you? How did you get in? I... I am going to call the cops. The judge declared that the will was true and valid. Richard stated that while our execution was poor, our heart was in the right place. He dropped the charges against us and vowed to fulfill Joel's wishes without any further action by the court. Weeks later, I received a letter from Carlos telling me that all is well between the Aldama and the Montez family. Richard and I are working together and sharing the property since it's more than the Montez family would ever need. Hey, Bandit. Look who it is. 